the crab snakes got a little bit of update actually their eggs got a little bit of update you can see uh the egg is now pulsating it looks amazing we're going to oh So, hello comrades and welcome to another awesome Subnauticus news episode and today I am going to show you the thing that is going to guide you pretty much every single second. Okay, so PD PDA voice is going to interrupt me like a lot today because I have just started a new game and what I, what I was trying to tell you that I'm going to show you the thing that is going to guide you pretty much every single second in your Subnautica game and of course I am talking about the new HUD. It is awesome, it looks amazing. Uh, I've heard a lot of different opinions. Uh, some people say that it is not cool, uh, some people say that they don't lo don't not like it, but personally I really love it. It looks a little bit more futuristic, it, lo it looks a little bit more awesome, I guess. The only thing that I am actually missing, uh, now it will be of course very hard for me to express what I'm trying to say, the only thing that is missing for me, uh, I would love to see uh, the pers the numeric percentage on for example the health of your character right now it's just uh, a small uh, circling uh, red line and uh, I do I'm not exactly 100% sure is it 95% uh, I'm still alive like 95% uh, 90% 80 no idea in the last uh, we had uh, on the previous hood you could clearly see that for example you are alive at 100% you are alive at 90% this is just my opinion uh, you can always comment your own opinion in the comment section I'm always reading them I sometimes reply I practically reply to every single one of you and so yeah this is the new hood and uh, yeah it looks it looks awesome now for example if we uh, jump down and if we start uh, well, breathing the air, you can see the O2 uh, bar is becoming like a bubbly bar, you, you, you can clearly see it, it's, it looks awesome, it looks amazing, I really like it, and now we can actually go up and boom, it refills very, very fast, and you see the O2 uh, hood, the O2 indicator has uh, seconds, indicating how much seconds you are able to be underwater, the same thing I would love to see with health, oxygen, uh, with health, uh, eat, eating thing and uh, drinking uh, thing. I have no idea how to express that. Whatever. And yeah, maybe uh, I guess, I hope that maybe uh, game developers will change that a little bit. If not, well, it's still pretty awesome. Now, uh, it's not uh, today actually there is a lot of updates, a lot of uh, smaller updates and any second, the PDA should say that I have 10 seconds left, but now, all right. <laughs> okay, it's, it's cool. Uh, it's talking about Aurora, of course. And, and you see, emergency 10 seconds of oxygen. Okay, oxygen. It says oxygen. Now, there are a uh, few more PDA uh, messages. For example, for example, not like, okay, if we grab here, it, it, we should. Yes. And life forms yes. may have unexpected characteristics and applications. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Good. <laughs> I like how it says good at the end. Now, for example, if we take quartz, uh, nothing happens. But if we take, uh, for example, oh, I keep I will keep forgetting this. But if we will take, for example, copper, I'm sure I will go, I'm going to show you what the PDA message will tell me. Now I just have to find limestone, break it, and get the copper. Of course, it's going to be the hardest part of this video because well, where when I need copper, it's always not here. Uh, now uh, I'm going to encounter the crash fish, right? No. Oh, of course, yes, the crash fish. It it blew himself in that. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, you see, break limestone. Now, copper. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased by 11%. Awesome, by 11%. Now, uh, it's not uh, all that I wanted to talk to you about. Now, uh, there are some uh, minor updates. For example, as... Uh, 
the game developers reduced damage of stalker bite uh, as you can see here uh, we can see one stalker st stalker in front of us and now it should damage wow what are you doing stal stalker please sh can you damage me thank you very much now uh, before this update the stalker bite did exactly 30% of your health and right now I can actually I cannot tell how much in the percentage uh, numeric percentage it, it it deals to me for example maybe it's like 25 26 uh, 29 I have no idea but the game developers reduced the bite of uh, reduced damage of stalker bite now uh, I have to go we have to go to uh, jelly room biome because there are uh, some more updates and I am I will be here and I will be there in just one second. So we are in the jelly shroom biome and as you can see the crab snakes are already lurking in those huge jelly shrooms. And now what I wanted to talk about, the crab snakes got a little bit of update. Actually their eggs got a little bit of update. You can see uh, the egg is now pulsating. It looks amazing. We're going to... Oh. I wanted to grab that, but yeah, apparently the crab snake was very upset up, uh, upset at me and did not let me take it. Now, please. Okay, I have took one egg and now we are going back and we are going to just lay it down here where there is a little bit less light and uh, see how cool this egg looks like. Now, you see, creature egg. Let's drop it. And you can see it's pulsating. It's about, I guess, it's about to hatch. It's it's it, it's awesome looking, uh, small little egg. Now it's not over about the crab snakes. Actually, the game developers increased crab snake attack damage to vehicles, and uh, yeah. Uh, it's been increased. Uh, they deal a little bit more damage. That is awesome. So if you would like to go here with your Seamoff or with your prawn suit, be aware that the damage to uh, vehicles was a little bit increased. Now, I need to eat something, but not right now. Uh, we have to do one more thing. And I can pretty sure guarantee that only uh, hardcore Sub Subnautica players, players will uh, see what I'm talking about. What, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to spawn bleeders. Bleeders. And we're going to spawn, I don't know, 10 of them. I'm going to wait for one to attach... Yeah. Okay, now, you see this bleeder is actually attacking me, and only the very, very uh, hardcore Subnautica players will see that uh, the animation of a bleeder sucking particles were changed a little bit. Uh, now, I actually have uh, watched this animation right here, and I have... Uh, seen another animation before this update and it's it is a little bit different i think that this one looks a little bit more cooler uh it it seems that the animation uh shows a little bit more blood than the bleeder is sucking your arm and it looks cool of course and uh, we can actually punch him no damage uh, i set the damage here to zero so oh my god the pda will not stop uh talking now what we're going to do i'm going to go to buy him safe and I want to... Right, so uh, it's actually so awesome to see the bleeder sucking animation at night. It looks so uh, so color saturated and looks it's practically uh, what I wanted to show you right now. So yeah, the bleeder uh, sucking animation was changed a little bit. It looks awesome, it looks amazing. And uh, we can punch him, uh, we can actually set damage to, zero, to 1. And we can punch him and he should get off my arm pretty fast and boom, he should go into the water. Alright, so comrades, that's it. And uh, No more news and updates right now. I hope you enjoyed this uh, new hood uh, that we have right now. It is uh, blinking a little bit. Uh, it looks awesome. I love it. And uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you're always welcome to leave a like, subscribe to this channel. And as always, comrades, I will see you all tomorrow in the next episode. Bye.